Uh, next move that we're going to do with the leg entanglements attacks, we're going to start from the reverse De La Riva. Uh, so in the De La Riva, you have a, usually you can do that one more with the gi, but this one will work with no gi and gi. Um, and so you, when you go into the reverse De La Riva, you want to try to off balance the guy so we can start getting into these ashigurami. So for this first one, what we're going to do is we're going to start in the reverse De La Riva, off balance the guy, and then end up into an ashigurami and finally take them over for a sweep and finish into a straight ankle lock. So here, normally this would be where we have a, a de la hiva that could be controlling here. Even with no gi, with gi, with gi, obviously I would be having something like this. I could start to really off balance him this way for the de la hiva. Gi or no gi, it doesn't really matter, but like, um, I don't really have his control if I was in say a nogi. So for this first position, what you have to do is you have to make sure you grab the heel. You're not grabbing up here onto the ankle. You need to make sure you're over here at this heel. Then I need to make sure that my butt is close to the foot, more so that I'm on top of it here. I don't want to be over here. There's too much space and I can't really off balance him. So I'm here. Next, I want to make sure that this foot is going to uh, hug against his leg. If I'm here and I just try to kick, Nothing really happens versus when I have my um, my foot flexing. And I'm not kicking backwards. I have to kick more like a 45. So I need his hands just to do this. Because what I really want to do is I want to swim my leg through. But Coach Eric isn't going to let me when I do this. He's going to stop me. So I need to be able to off balance him. Now, if the guy has his hands on his legs, you will have to break this off when the person is drilling because this is actually a really stable position. So for right now, like if your partner just doesn't have the arms on the legs, you're just gonna off balance them here and you're just gonna kick. So when he just does that, that's enough. That's all I need. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swim through and grab his knee. At the same time, kick this leg and I'm sliding underneath here. I then bring this knee up and this foot has to go all the way up towards his hip. And my knee has to, just like what we would do, this is called like the single leg X but it's the ashigurami the, um, for the other part where they were calling it for the standard. And so same exact position, this knee is touching the heel, this hook is making sure to hook his leg and I'm already hooking around his uh, foot here. Now to do the sweep, if I just push back, this is stable. He's not gonna go anywhere. He needs to go this way. So to do that, I have to open his knee out and then push down. So when the guy falls down, we should end up just exactly in the standard ashigurami. Knee is making sure that it's covering this uh, heel. This foot is making sure to cover his leg. And now I'm over here um, around uh, his, his uh, ankle here. To finish the straight Achilles lock, what you're gonna do is, so if you just sit here and do this, nothing's gonna happen. You need to make sure that this stays close to you and I'm going to fall down so I can't be on my uh, elbow. I have to be on my shoulder and I'm looking more towards this way. I need his feet crunched. So I need to make sure that all of these feet over here are crunching down here this way. And then if once you have this here, you can just walk the foot towards the butt. So you just lift up, walk, lift up, walk, lift up, walk. And then eventually it sh you should get the top.